Hello booktube, my name is Adrienne. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about my TBR for the final biannual bibliothon. So if you do not know what the biannual bibliothon is, it was a readathon that took place twice a year. This is the final one. Uh, they are not going to be doing any more, at least not anytime soon. So this is the final biannual bibliothon and I have been participating for quite a while. So I am excited to participate in this last one. It is a longer readathon. It's not a week, it's a little bit longer than that. And there are nine challenges uh, for this readathon. So I will link down below the uh, YouTube channel and the Twitter for the Pioneer Bibliothon if you're interested in checking out that and kind of seeing all the hosts and the video challenges and uh, the, the book challenges and all of that. I don't think I'm going to be doing any of the video challenges just because I don't really have the time to dedicate to filming seven individual videos because they are a little more intensive uh, video challenges. So I don't think I'm going to be doing any of those, but if an idea strikes me and I have time to do it, then I will, but at the moment I'm not planning to do any of them. Um, but I am going to try and do all of the challenges. I believe there's one challenge I am doubling up on, um, but that's it. So yeah, that is uh, that. So let's go ahead and go through my TBR. Like I said, there are nine challenges. One, two, three, four, five, six... Nine. nine challenges and I am trying to read eight books. Um, if you saw my video for the Book Junkie Trials TBR, you will know that a lot of the books on this TBR are for are also on that TBR um, in terms of like my 17 books <laughs> that I'm trying to read. Um, so a lot of these books are already on there as well. Some of them are not because I couldn't fit them into challenges over there, but several of them are. But I'm not going to really tell you what they're for because that would require me to look that up and I don't have the time for that. So let's just go ahead and get into what books I'm reading for the Bio of the what challenges they complete, and yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. So the first challenge for the Biannual Bibliothon is always to read the group book and the group book this round I'm really excited about because I've been wanting to read it myself and that is Aurora Rising by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. These are the two authors that wrote the Illuminae series and I absolutely love that series. This series is not told in the same format. This is a standard uh, novelized format but uh, it's the same author so I think, feel like the humor is still going to be the same. So I'm really excited to get to this one. Uh, so this I am reading for the group book challenge. I am also, this is the book I'm doubling up on, I am also doubling this up for the challenge to read a predicted five star. So this book will fulfill two challenges and it is the only book that I'm reading that will fulfill two challenges. So yeah, this is the first book on my TBR and I'm super excited to get to this one. The next challenge is to read a host five, a book that a host gave a five star and for this one I actually picked Twilight. Um, I'm hoping to reread this. Um, I don't know why, but it was one that I thought I could get through pretty quickly and um, it was just an extra book. I may swap this one out for a different book if there's another one. I haven't looked closely at the list in a while to see if there's any that I would rather read, but this one I know I can get through pretty quickly. So this is the book I'm hoping to read. I'm hoping to read Twilight. We will see if I actually read this one or if I swap it. This is my ten currently on my TBR. The next challenge is to read an adult book and for this one I have picked The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is a very popular book on booktube and I've heard really great things about it. This is also a book that I am doing a uh, book club buddy read for so I definitely have to get to it in this month. So this is the book that I'm hoping to read for my adult book. So yeah, there's that one. Up next, the challenge is to read a graphic novel. I thought this one would be pretty easy, and for this one, I'm going to read the next volume of Giant Days, or whichever one that may be. I believe I'm currently on volume six, maybe five. Um, so we'll see if I've read any more since then. Probably not, because I don't have any of them on any other challenges. So I'm going to read Giant Days, um, whichever one comes next in the series at this point. So yeah. Up next is to read a book solely based on the cover, and for this one I had the book that I immediately knew I was going to pick, and that was Charm by Sarah Pimbrough. I picked this book up strictly because it of this cover. Like, look how gorgeous this cover is. And it's like a hard cover as well, and it has like a little ribbon in it. This book is beautiful, and I picked this book up um, from the store 
solely because of how nice it looked. Um, so I'm planning to read this. It's also pretty short, so I feel like I could probably get through it pretty quickly. So yeah, this is the book I'm planning to read for that. The next challenge is actually a free choice, um, and I have no idea what I'm going to read for this one. I have specifically chosen not to pick a book for free choice because this challenge is just to read whatever you want. I have specifically not chosen a book for this challenge so that when we get to the readathon I can just pick whatever book is next in the Book Junkie Trials team jar and read that one. And I don't know what I'm gonna have read already at, by the time we get here to know what to put in here. So I'm just leaving it blank and I will fill that spot in whenever I actually read a book for it. The next challenge is to read a book from an author you have never read before. For this one I am reading Seafire by Natalie C. Parker. I've never read anything from this author. I believe this is her debut novel so that would be why. Um, but yeah I have never read anything from Natalie C. Parker and I've heard that this is a good one and it also again fulfills the challenge for the book Turkey trials. Mm -hmm basically all of these do so there's that <laughs> but yeah so that is the book I'm planning to for that and then the last challenge that I have to per to complete is to read a book you were excited for and then never picked up and for that one I have Poison by Sam Pinwaro this is a companion novel to Charm which I just talked about on this TBR I picked these two books up at the same time because their covers are beautiful um so at the time I picked it up I was really excited about this because the cover is gorgeous and I had kind of like read the description on the back of it here and it seemed really interesting and really exciting and then I never picked it up so so there you go guys, those are all of the books that I'm hoping to read for the biannual bibliothon. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you are participating, let me know down below and let me know if you are planning to do the uh, video challenges because if you are, I will absolutely love to watch them. And yeah, let me know if you guys are participating down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.